Right now, Pokemon Showdown has their Ruins of Elf Spotlight, which means it's currently possible to find a battle on the ladder of Pokemon Showdown in a metagame that no longer exists. And currently, Generation 7 UU is the Spotlight. Sun and Moon UU is a fantastic tier filled with Mega Pokemon and Z moves, where good old reliable Bullet Punch Scizor and Latias reign supreme. And I totally didn't do this video just so I could use Necrozma and say Necrozma the entire time. Let's play. Obviously, I haven't played Generation 7 UU since Generation generation 7 but i'm very excited to play today because i want to use nick rosma i mainly just want to say its name as many times as possible in this snorlax slacking oh i guess i'm not registered on this account i'll register in a bit now shout out to phantoms for this team if you want it's on my website pokemon.com i love playing ogens let's get right into this i'm gonna lead off with nick rosma let's get it what do you have for my friend hmm it seems you have led well into me but I do have to knock this Pokemon out in order to put in work with my Scizor, as well as Volcanion, as well as Aggron, as well as Slacking. Yeah, we're gonna go for Earth Power here. Tank that hit. Go for a nice little max special attack. Ooh, hold up, with that Life Orb hit, it might kill. Hold, chop one up for Nick Rosma to start it off. All right, Slacking coming in. I'm gonna put in a lot of work. Why just insult my Snorlax? Like, like it's not, this, this, this is a muscle body on oh my boy. You do enjoy this content though. Let me know. Feel free to leave a like. Sub to the channel. I love old gens very much. I uh, I actually so I'll be doing a road top ten at some point in OU, of course. But I want to do one in the uh, like DP tier and stuff like that too. So let me know if you guys would enjoy that. SD Cobalion should win now with the fastest mon gone. So I'm just gonna get some chip on this. That way I can knock it out with plus two Iron Head. Oh my God, dude! My specs is gone. I'm they're clearly choice like I, they're 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 clearly specs to be able to do that much their min speed i'm still fast or i'm still slower with scissor which is good I'm trying to think is there any other play i want to make because i want to learn and i don't want to click stone edge is what i'm trying to say i do think though that earthquake for mega aerodactyl ko's you know i'm just gonna believe that earthquake ko's i really am forget it plus they have no switch into earthquake anyway at this current point in time so mega arrow hopefully they go out into aggron right here because hitting that thing prior to it, mega evolving allow me to actually beat it it did not ko no Oh my god, dude just hit me with the opera. Back in the day, that used to get you copyrighted. That used to get you straight up copyrighted. Which is so funny. I will iron here. Actually, there's no reason not to CC this turn. Now I'm smoked by Aggron. I am absolutely smoked by Aggron. Ideally, it's just rocks, heavy slam. Honestly, no matter what it is, it's a problem. Oh, I'm sad that Earthquake did not pick up the KO. How full on guys are going to do 10 billion percent? But Earthquake not pick up the KO. Come on, man. Give me some give me some damage next time. Now, I should still be okay. I just have to weaken the Mega Aggron that comes out. Also, Volcanion is a giant threat. I do have Cursed Snorlax, though. And Cursed Snorlax, Cursed Snorlax is okay. I don't think it ever beats... It has Recycle as well. I don't think it ever beats Aggron, though. But I can get Facade. Let's see. I'm gonna obviously curse up. That's all I can do. I'm Scarf Lottie as well. Yeah, I'm Scarf Lottie as well. All right. So nice I choose you, buddy. God, without the proper ability. I'm Gluttony, though, plus Figgy, which is nice. And this is back when the Super Citrus Berries were, were broken before they nerfed them again because they were too good in VGC. But look how much I took, dude. I don't necessarily have a switch into this monster and it is mega aggron Ooh, does giga impact smoke me you know it would be kind of funny <laughs> we got a talker what what do i want to rocks first yeah i actually do i need to break sturdy prior does it have to stay in this turn i can't talk Oh, they were talking about that. All right, rocks are up, so we do break sturdy. We're going to SD up. I do have all-out pummeling, though. I think that KOs Aggron. All right, and they did give me... I'm just going to pray that it's not Scarf Bull Canyon and that we win the game. There's no Terra or anything my opponent could go for. Look how much that did. <laughs> Look how much that did. But yeah, there's no Terra my opponent could go for. At plus four, all out pummeling will KO. I think Rocks was the play because, again, prior to uh, Mega Evolving, Aggron does have access to Sturdy. If it's Scarf Full Canyon, so be it. I can't find out if it's Specs or not just based on the fact that. Don't go Volcanion, go Aggron. 
Go aggro, I'm praying you take this. Mega aggro might actually have taken this if I wasn't all out pummeling. But I know they're gonna go Volcanion and bluff. <laughs> and it's gonna, uh, it's not even gonna be a bluff. It's gonna end up being Choice Scarf. Don't be Scarf. Don't be Scarf, be Z-Move. Nothing, oh, it was Z-Move on Primarina. No, don't be Scarf. Just bring an aggro on so I can all out pummeling. I refuse to believe this. Yeah, I refuse. Sometimes you just got, look, it's either I safely lose or I risk it all and win. And what do we do right here? We won the game. And this is possible because of Nick Razma. If anybody can get the reference from my thumbnail, I will heart and pin your comment. Now, I don't think anybody's gonna get the reference from my thumbnail because <laughs> you can't even tell what it is. <laughs> Scarzig was... <laughs> Scarzik was going crazy at this one. Right, I'll pause it until they. Uh, oh, 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 oh. 190 base power moves, man. The Terra before the Terra. The Dynamax before the Dynamax. The gems after the gems. Next one. All right, so we win this first game, obviously, unless this Blissey manages to bring it back versus plus four Cobalion and the like. So I'm going to pause it until we find another one. Unless, uh, I guess, yeah, maybe you want to. I'm so sorry, Watermelon. I'm going to. I'm gonna register my account after this game. That way we can actually talk next time we play. All right, get another game, we'll be right back. All right, we got some webs, but let me tell you something. Necrozma goes crazy. I also have Scarf Defog Lottie, so it's a guaranteed Defog. I'm gonna lead off with Necrozma, just because it's gonna be Sash, Lead, Araquanid. Also, this month's so sick because it ignores the ability on Mimikyu, so it just goes right for its soul with the Photon Geyser. Mega Arrow, Magneton to stop the Scizor from sleeping. I will say, Lax is pretty good here, but there's also the part where I get swept by Scizor, which I think I have to trick it with Lottie. I'm gonna lead off with Nikirozma. Show me what you got. Now, if they end up leading off with a rack when it is, should always go for webs in this game, in my opinion. Ends up being Magneton, perfect. I have zero reason not to click Photon Geyser. It hits everything on the team. Uh, I think they also have to fear me potentially. First of all, they're probably Scarf Mag, if anything. Awesome. So they're gonna fear Earth Power, they're gonna fear an attack. Yep, they should always go Rack That's what I thought. So maybe we're not gonna play this game with uh, webs because Nick Rosma. Hey yo! <laughs> hey, hey, hey yo, come on, fam. Why you did that little? Why are you doing so little? Why did you only do 49? This Max Spadef Demon. All right, you ready for this 49 to 63 roll, aka a critical hit? I'm going for it. I don't really have good switches to this mod, which is why I want to do this. I do not have good switches at all. The combination of Magneton plus Arrow is really annoying. I might have to call either them Fire Fanging or switching into to Mag. Like, basically, the Bullet Punch is always going to be a tough turn for me. Bro, why did it eat it so well? I thought it'd be like offensive lead, max speed, max attack. Dude was not <laughs> taking any damage this turn. Come on, Nick Rosma. You got to put in a little bit more work than that. I want to draft this mod again. Come on, so freaking fire. The critical hit. 53 is nasty. All right, webs go up. That's fine. They can protect. I don't mind if they switch because, again, this is specs, right? So I'm doing I'm doing massive damage to anything. Oh, perfect. You do not take this as well as you wanted. Yep, all right. That's basically scissor range. Go and vault switch again. Good job, Nick Rosma. <laughs> I don't remember why we started saying Nick Rosma's name like this. I actually don't even remember. But it is always stuck and it will continue to stick. Yo, they gave me damage on everything. That's amazing. All right, they should bullet punch here. Should be a free, uh, a free you. Wait, don't you win? Don't you basically win? I always Ice Fang here too, always. This is a Mon they can't switch into at all. I don't care if they get up rocks, I don't care if they go for Toxic. Basically, Chip on Gliscor is great. It does have Roost in this, this meta. Oof, nasty crit. Can we get a flinch too? Still a nasty turn. No Stone Edge switch-ins, let's click it. Whatever, I wanna KO, I wanna KO the Scizor too and the Araquanid. All right, easy, gone. Giant threat gone. Gligar low, SD Scizor is looking insane about now. SD Scizor is looking absolutely insane right now. And also, yeah, no, SD Scizor looks 
beautiful. I don't know if they're banded on their scissor versus uh, metal coat or plate or iron plate, whatever one you fancy. But it doesn't matter. Also, I'm faster than Scarf Mag, so they better not go. They better not go Mag. I want to see if plus two Bullet Punch KOs Mag. So plus two Bullet Punch actually does not KO Mag, which is unfortunate. I'm at the Kobali on play here. Again, knocked off. I am still faster than Gligar. I am gonna go for. Uh, I'm gonna go for Rocks here. I'm assuming the Gligar sack is gonna happen. And what I want is I want Rocks up. I I'm gonna play a game of webs. But the reason I want Rocks is because I want to be able to knock out uh, Magneton at plus two. Yep, perfect. So we want to make sure that, because now with Rocks Up, Magneton does go down to plus two bullet punch. Necrozma did his job, man. We can everything. Let's freaking go. That was definitely not Evil Light either. It would not be taking 80%. I don't even know what they kill me with. There's a great chance I'm faster than Scizor. And if they go Arrow, I super live that too. They have to go Magneton and weaken me with like Thunderbolt or something. If they go Mag, I actually, I can't switch because, you know, steel trapping and stuff like that. But I, I think we're looking real good. Mimikyu can never beat Scizor unless it's like some curse Willow Wisp set, which I don't even remember if it gets Wisp in this generation or ever got, uh, yeah. I'm plus one attack, sorry, Mega Arrow. You're gonna do your Earthquake, do like 60. Yup, exactly 60. Bro, Sun and Moon Yu Yu was my thing. And we got that giant throw out of it. They can go Mimikyu now though. I get what they're doing. Oh. Cool. Just gonna Iron Head, let them vault. Perfect. So they die there. They want to go mimic you. I'm, I'm chilling. Again, the second I get an SD up now, I win. Only way to lose this game is to throw my favorite thing. All right, I'm gonna go Arrow, force them to bullet punch me, and then SD up. And that should be game. I think that'd be game. Yep, uh, they didn't bullet. They were. They had to bullet punch me there. That was the only way they were gonna win this game, by bullet punching. Uh, just to make sure this thing can't do anything. I don't. I don't think play rough in the shadow sneak actually KOs me anyway. But taunt is just always the play. Don't let them SD. Mega Arrow also one of my favorite megas that I never got to use in a draft league. I always want to use it. I use it in like a Let's Go draft league, but that that doesn't count because that's one of the most broken megas in Let's Go, in my opinion. But it doesn't count. There's no EVs. I couldn't customize it anyway. I just. Oh, let's snuggle forever. How about no? All right, so Psychic is the play. Bust that. The fact that they are not Life Orb means they would never be able to knock out Scizor anyway, even if they got plus six with Shadow Sneak. So we Psychic, Bust of Disguise, SD up, win the game, etc., etc. Yeah, so that should be the game. Perfect. Nice little Scizor sweep, which we were setting up for, and Necrozma made it possible. Ooh, that's a crit Drain Punch, by the way. I guess they could... No, they couldn't be sassed. It was Z. Yeah, so BP there. Beautiful. And then one more on Magneton. Call it a day. <laughs> crit on Magneton anyway, but that didn't matter. All right, let's get another game. We'll be right back. My opponent has some insane Pokemon into me. I'll be honest. The man tank goes stupid. All right, I'm going to lead off Arrow. Because I'm scared as hell of their mana tank. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is... Please don't Flare Blitz me, because I'm going to go Kobalion, which is very important in this game. Necrozma hopefully clicks Earth Power on Muck and Empoleon, weakening it. I have Signal Beam as well for Uxie. All right, so they're most likely Scarf, which means I should be able to get up Rocks here. Perfect. And now... I guess technically... Hmm. I'm going to go Arrow always. Now that Rocks are up, I always go Arrow. They can Ice Fang me, but it won't kill. I don't think Aqua Tail will kill either. Uh, basically, Weakening Gligar. We're going for another Scizor win here because it's definitely possible. The problem is Rose Raid, if it has any HP, I'm pretty sure it lives a plus two bullet punch from non-invested. Land, go. Oh my God, dude, you have been going stupid this. No, bro, I've been critting, freezing. We're going to flinch in the next one. We're definitely going to flinch in the next one. Let's hopefully find a game soon. We'll be right back. All right, my opponent has a scary team. I will say though, Cobalion clicking rocks. Lead goat. <laughs> Lead goat. <laughs> this is definitely Scarf. Oh, it wasn't Scarf. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm gonna make out my Necrozma here on what I'm expecting to be Klefki, uh, because I am Specs. They, I guess they could knock off the, if they're Salt Vest. 
Yeah, they go Klefki, perfect. Earth power, specs, Nikrozma, let's get it. Woof, big damage, big damage. Perfect, and what we can do here is we can go Kobalion. I don't care if they go Gligar, because I want rocks up to pressure Beedrill. Basically, SD Scizor, once again, is very good. We just want rocks to pressure Beedrill as often as possible. And now what we can do is go Nikrozma, because if they fog, they have no switch into Photon Geyser. So you're gonna take like 63, 67. Okay, a little slightly off, slightly off. But Scissor looking crazy now. Also, they're not Taunt, they're Roost last. Oh, I wanna see how much you take. I wanna, I wanna see how much you take. 85 is crazy. All right, they have to protect here. We're gonna go Cobalion. Get up rocks again. They can't flip, so they're gonna hard switch here. Hmm. I don't think Gliscor dies to Iron Head is the problem. I'm gonna go Arrow. They Scald, okay. Worked out for them. We're gonna go, we're gonna start uh, Curse Laxing. Basically, if they want a uh, Gligar, I want to get the Ice Fang off. Aloe is whatever. I just curse. Please Scald. Scald would be great. Cause then I get a Facade kill every single time. Yeah, curse up again. Let's me live, uh, me and Shots hit. Lax in general just looks stupid good here. All right, I live you and pray for side KOs at plus two. That did zero. That did not do enough either. If I recycle up until they miss, I don't even think they kill me after. I'm just gonna facade again. Oh, nice, they gave me the, the berry, let's go. I forgot how much it recovers. Alec comes out. We're gonna curse again. Recycle up. Curse once more, and then go for facade. It's 140 base power now. I did 31 before. I think 90 is good damage. Recycle again. Try and switch on me. Yep, you're gonna protect. All right, so I get a kill now with facade. Ideally, it's on Aloe. Aloe's very annoying because of the wish passing. Uh, cause again, I'm going for that scarf, like, oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, we definitely win now because scarf, uh, scarf, what's it called, kills everything. Also, I get my berry, exactly. They can't kill me. So scarf, psychic kills everyone on this team. And they gave me the thunder waver. I'll take it. I will gladly take it. We would just keep facading. There is no reason not to. Look at curse lags go. Back when the super citrus berries, as we call them. We're demon-like, and this is all possible thanks to Nicarazma. Give me another one. Bro, do you eat this? I'll be honest. I kind of hope you do. Because I want to set up on you SD Scissor and win the game immediately. I guess they go me and Shao now and fake out. Because I died of poison. Or they go Beedrill and go for Felstinger. <laughs> they have it. Yeah. Give me this. Perfect. Just go you. Click Iron Head. Pick up the KO. All out pummeling in front of Haxorus. Beedra comes out. Doesn't matter. Got some nice little breaking earlier with Nick Gerasma. Yep. All out pummeling. And then all I got to do is CC. If they, if they had switched to the Beedra there, which would have been a great play, all I had to do is just CC Haxorus to bullet punch it. Plus, I had Scarf Lottie with Psyche to win the game. So this game should be over. They have to have Drone to knock me out. They do. All right. Lottie comes out, quick psychic, and that's good game. Man, I'm really enjoying this team. Shout out to Phantos, man. Shout out to Phantos. Let's get another one. Bear back. Insane team from the opponent. I'm about to lead. I'm about to lead Woat. I'm about to lead Woat. Lead Woat? Lead Woat? Oh, I lead goaded it I accidentally. All right. Nick Razma, free photo on Geyser. Basically gets a kill. That's a good trade. That's definitely a good trade. This is uh, great for my Cobalion, which actually comes in on the Golisopod coming in next. Or Manetric. That's another good one. All right, we'll always go Lottie here. Also, my Mega Arrow goes stupid. Great Volt. Yep. We want to get up rocks. We want to start. Uh, oh, they're Life Orb. Hmm. They're going to hurt me right now a lot, but we still want rocks. I think... I'm going to all out pummeling because I think it forces it out, but I'm not... I, I, I don't think it does, actually. Does this do 31? I just did 30, just shy, just shy. So it actually gets forced out here as well. 
Okay, so it's in bullet punch range, which is nice. They can go ape. This is a free mega arrow. And a free quake. If there's scarf ape, that's fine too, because Lottie, Lottie goes stupid soon too. Oh, and they gave it to me as well, so that's amazing. That's so good. Again, that's so good for Scizor. I don't need to, ch uh, I don't need to chip that down at all. Gully comes out. At this point, Necrozma did its job. They could have Aqua Jet, so... Hmm. They got Julie. Perfect. Perfect. Right, always arrow. It's okay if Manetra comes out. We want Manetra to take rock so that way I can psychic endgame instead of Draco. You scarf too? Oh no, you just <laughs> you just dodged. You're just a good person. That's unfortunate. Watch me break through and hit the stone edge. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. When turns like the end crit, when turns like that happen, I was like, you're not getting away with this. You're not getting away with this. You demon. All right, so devastating Drake Haxorus would be the worst, the most devastating thing, right? So we're gonna curse up once. And we're just gonna facade. Because we get the chip, and we're going for that psychic end game. We can recycle again as well here because we'll get our, our berry. This is before Haxorus actually got close combat as well, so it can't do anything to me. Let me get one more recycle here, and then we can actually get the kill. Uh, because at this point, Haxorus cannot boost itself enough to do any damage to me. Yeah, so we get rid of uh, main. Zeus is like a, I like it's a standard one we used to see. All right, we'll facade here. Devastating Drake should not kill. Yup. Then we just facade for a 2 KO, and that should be game. Not bad. All right. We are climbing the rise of Nikrozma. Another one. This team looks like one of my favorite teams of all time. Uh, it would be something over Darmanitan, though. This is like when I use Sash Spam, and I would not be surprised if this was Sash Spam. I'm leading off Arrow again into Azo. If we just Mega Evolve and Taunt, if they want to Psychic me, that's fine. Arrow's roll isn't that amazing here. This is actually a really tough game, I will admit. Nice. Okay, it got a lot easier as long as I land this Stone Edge because there are no resist on that team. If they want to Boom, I'm gladly play a game with no, bro uh, no rocks. At all. 50 is beautiful damage. All right. We get a nice little U turn off here. Always. If they SD, that's fine. I get in Kobalion. U turn's best just because it stops Azo from clicking button. It also, like, they're really weak to Scizor, right? Like, offensively, this is how you check. They, they have Crawdon. I, I should lie. I shouldn't lie. They're not really weak to Scizor. Yeah, and they're a lot better into Scizor now. I'm gonna rocks. It's a misplay. But I'm gonna do it just because I have Signal Beam Necrozma. And I want to prevent their rock. Yeah. All right, so it's SD knock U-turn. Uh, so Azov comes in with its Focus Sash and everything. Lottie comes out. Huh. Are you HP Fire? Just an immediate defog. Well, who do you even go to on this? Are you actually HP Fire Leftovers? It's the same scenario, right? I just get up rocks again. Oh my god, they gave me insane damage there too. Let's go. I should definitely pick up my free KO. <laughs> All right, get in Lottie. Best case is right here. Yep, they mega evolve. I outspeed them. I knock them out with Psychic in a good spot. Scissor can come out and U-turn if it really wants to, but I'm looking all right. Uh, Crawdon's also, a, I mean, Crawdon's a demon, right? Crawdon comes out and does get a kill. Uh, but I also think, oh, great. I will take it. I will take it. Because again, if they want to boom here, they still have no Stone Edge switchings at all. Scissor comes out, it dies. As of if it booms, it's just easier for my Kobalion. Perfect. Now Darm gets to come out and click Blitz. <laughs> Me looking for my switchings. Uh, at this point, because I basically lose everything, I'll just go for Stone Edge, let him knock me out there, bring out Kobalion. I'm gonna Greed Rocks here, because if they attack me, I hate them, but they should go Lottie, exactly. So Greed Rocks made more sense for Darmanitan, and I would rather take the trade if I can. I think it's always Scizor, Psychic. Draco is close, but I don't think it's a KO. And I want my Roost. Yep, 
I mean, it would be close, but definitely not a KO. 20 plus 28. Alright, I can afford to U-turn. Oh, I get base case scenario here too. Let's go. Uh, because they can't actually kill this mon in a hit, I'm gonna rocks into go scissor just because I want to. I want a free turn. Oh, I've never mind. I made the best play ever. Rocks, and then they sacked themselves. We're looking real good right now. We're looking real good right now. Again, Darmanitan is the only threat. And they also went Scizor for whatever reason. So I'm gonna all out pummeling here because it gets a kill or does enough to Scizor to the point where CC knocks it out. Oh yeah, there's there's absolutely zero switches to this monster. And you know who's winning in the back? Nekrozma with Signal Beam. Right, just stay in on everything. Don't have to switch. Do not have to switch at all. I doubt that's Belly Drum Darm. I'm pretty sure it'd be Scarf on this team. But whatever, I always stay in anyway. I have no reason to switch, my friend. At this point, you're just giving me KO after KO after KO. You guys think Necrozma lives? GG. You guys think Necrozma lives? GG. I don't, I actually don't think it lives. But I wanna see. I think it takes 99, actually. It might live. Oh, 87, let's go, Necrozma. Okay, good to know that this also could be a backup for Darmanitan. I didn't know the calc off the top of my head, so. I'm happy about that. Let's get another one. How happy am I to see a team with zero psychic resist into Specs Necrozma? They got a lot of threats though. But Arrow goes stupid. Like Arrow actually goes stupid here. I'm leading off with it. It's amazing in this game. Newcastle United. I like the name. Again, Arrow goes absolutely crazy. Uh, if I land a Stone Edge on like Beedrill lead into Gligar, I smoke it. I'm going to always Ice Fang here. Instead of taunt, i rather, I mean, I've, I've already gotten freeze and crit, time to flinch. <laughs> All right, worth it anyway. That's Necrozma range, that's Kobali in a plus two range. They do not switch in well to this mod at all. Like, at all. I'm not even sure who they're going out to. Now, Hiligoy ain't Scarf in this tier. They're always Z or, or Pain Split or anything. Maybe Sylveon. Maybe Sylveon to like double out into Chandelier, which admittedly I am weak to. But even my Scarf Lottie Psychic is very good in this game. I will not respect the fact that Nihiligo could be Scarf at all. I think they're all Gigabolt Havoc or whatever. They need to for like Empoleon. Uh, they could be Rockium Z. What was Rockium Z called? Breaking up Blitz is normal. I don't remember. All right, Threat Alert. Do you have HP Fire? Oh God. Do you have HP Fire now? I always bullet punch. Are you HP Fire? Sub is actually very deadly, I'll be honest. HP Fire shouldn't smoke me in one. They calm mine there. <laughs> Misplays were made. Misplays were made. Oh, they just hyper voice for chilling. We curse up. We won't be on this. Always. And by always, I mean no. We don't. Also, I'm still very, very worried about. Oh, okay. I lied. We won't be on this. Always. Right, we're going to recycle one. I'm very worried about the. Uh... I curse up again. Because if they get plus three, they'll just activate my, they'll just activate my berry. Plus four will also activate my where, yeah, exactly. So it's better to facade to a KO the one mon on their team that actually eats psychic. Wow, it did not to a KO <laughs> in the slightest, huh? I don't want to get greedy, I'm just gonna kill this. They're trying to weaken me for uh, Chandelier and Nihiligo, but yeah. This was like max defense, I mean, it had to be max defense, right? It was also min speed, like beyond min speed, because I'm 165 speed, so they actually had like absolute min speed. Oh, they're not gonna like when I click recycle instead of, yeah, they're not gonna like when I click this recycle right now. Oh, uh, they could trick me. Or fire move, hard arrow. All right, well, I get a kill here. Or do I want to make a unnecessary double? Oh, I do. Oh, oh. Into Necrozma. Yeah. F missing. We go Photon Geyser. F missing. Photon Geyser for life. Give me that kill. <laughs> Beedro definitely doesn't kill me, so that actually gives me another kill. Ain't no way. Yo, just go ahead and give me another kill for Necrozma. Give me another one. Ooh, it's Shandy. Ooh, I'll take it. Let's go. 
demon comes out. Oh, it is Faustinger. Bless. I like that. Faustinger, you turn. You know what's going to happen here? I'm going to go for Earthquake or Arrow. It's not going to kill. Even if it's no defense. And it's going to... Actually, I don't even think it kills Arrow. There's no There's no one who has it can kill Arrow. Nothing. I don't care if it's plus three points. Yeah. Remember when I lied to you guys? I'm so sorry. I, I just just came on the internet and lied. <laughs> just, just got on the damn internet and lied. Is it Z Hayes on Tentacruel? Anyway. That's adaptability boosted. I hated. I was hating way too hard. It has to be Meteor Beam to do any damage to me. Nice. All right, and we just Psychic wear down the Tentacruel and then win the game with Snorlax. Well, or just this, because Knock Off won't even kill me. It's more sludge wave. All right, we're going to end on that. Undefeated with Necrozma. Mon had a, I had a lot of fun with that Mon, man. I had a ton of fun with that Mon this lab. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, if you did, let me know. Leave a like, sub to the channel. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.